Good luck. Yes, the very best of luck with that. Now, food is more expensive than ever at the moment, so there's nothing more frustrating than finding out your new bag of salad has already wilted or those bunch of bananas have already gone brown. Well, Suzanne Mulholland says there are some simple storage solutions to make your food last longer. She knows everything, um, and she's here now. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Very good. Good, good to see you. We're going to start with fruit today. Yeah. Some fruits last a long time. Apples are quite good, aren't apples they? Apples are great. It's a soft apples, fruit pears, to... things like that mm. work really well. So if you are watching your money, stick with things like that that last a lot yeah. longer. Um, let's talk about fruit first. It's always nice to have a nice fruit bowl when you do your shopping and you come and get, you know, you put it all out in the fruit bowl. But actually your kitchen is one of the warmest places that you can have in your house. So actually you want to keep most of your fruit in the fridge, in the fridge. and then just put a little bit out in the fruit bowl. It's good to have it out because if you've got kids, you want you them to walk past and it. help themselves. Yeah. And it sort of gets forgotten about when it's in the fridge, it doesn't does, it? Yeah. But I love showing off of the fruit bowl. So I know. Yeah, put it all out. It's a real yeah. show up. Look at me, my yeah. fruit bowl. Never <laughs> eaten. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, just, just for display. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, you want to save some money. There's different types of technology that is coming into the market that you can use. And we're going to start with that, but there's things that you can do that you don't need to buy. But they have these um, little discs now and they're called nanology discs and no. base yeah i can't say that very well nanology and um when your fruit and veg starts to ripen it starts to um a, a, like emit gases and those gases make other things in your fridge ripen quicker oh, right. so what these things do is they sort of like suck the gas and they absorb sort of it absorb it they're about a pound you buy them for a pack of six they last for three months and you just put them in the bottom of your fridge um in the drawers and then you just oh, change really them every works. three months and it's supposed to work really well so wow. i think it's worth a go if you find that you've got lots of stuff like that going off because if you put is it true if you put bananas next to avocados they ripen quicker they so ripen quicker different yeah next and we're going to go on to lots of things like right. that that if you put things next to each other they don't do so well there is new bags out on the market as well and these have got um these sort of are like stay fresh for longer bags they're called and they've got like a film on them that's like a um japanese sort of stone they say and it basically stops the moisture from occurring in the bag but you have to use them with a clip they're not washable and they only last a month so at the uh, moment i don't think they're the best because you're just getting more plastic that you're using no. suzanne can i just ask about bananas i, I just stop them going brown yeah you um pull them apart and then you put a little bit of cling film on each one to stop the gases from coming out and they'll stay longer. They're very they'll gassy, longer. these vegetables, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they fruits? are. And actually, that's the thing. It is about mm. air and about the gas that they emit yeah. and, how, and things that are stored next to each other. That's how... Things go off. So things go off. What have we got here? Yeah, OK, I want to quickly talk about your fridge because you don't need to spend money on any other gadgets, but your fridge you do need to look at. It needs to be between 3 and 5 degrees, so you need to check your temperature. If you've got a new fridge, it'll have the di dial on the top. You can check it so you can move it up and down. If not, you can pick up, like, one of these little sort of, like, cheap things that, that tell you what the temperature is. Um, you also need to make sure that the seal of your fridge is clean. Yes. And your fridge shouldn't smell. If it smells, it's those gases that are making everything else go off. So you should wash it out and every couple of days just keep looking. If there's a little sort of like tomato that's going rotten, get, get rid out, of it. Get it gonna out because it's going to make everything else okay. go. If you want to check your fridge on your seal, use a piece of paper, close your fridge door. If the paper falls down, your seal isn't working properly. Oh, that's a good If the tip. paper stays in the place, then it's working great. All right, where do you want to go next? Right. <clears throat> Once you've sorted your fridge, and we've all got our stuff in our fridge, you will have stuff that just by the end of the week we naturally haven't used. You know, you've got half a pepper, you've got some potatoes, mm. you've got some onions. Rather than just let them go off and throw them in the bin, get yourself a little bag like these. This one says soup, this one says omelette. Just chop up any of your leftover stuff and throw them in the bag. That is a very good idea and actually easy. Yeah, you're making an omelette to take a handful out, so you'll put it in the that. pan, freeze it. Freeze yeah, it and then, you've and then you got can it. just take out as much That's as you a good want. Idea. So it's, I love these little tricks because it saves you so much money in a little It yeah, does. And you no don't waste. have to keep shopping and buying. If you've got potatoes, uh, <laughs> bacon potatoes, and you've not used them, Bake them next time you're having your meal, just put them in and then you can freeze them and then you can microwave them and they work out perfect as a baked potato. I did not you can't that. freeze them unless they're baked, but bake them. If you've got onions, you can quickly make a caramelised onion. Pancake mix, you can freeze and then pop it out whenever you need it. And this one is herbs. 
chop them up, add a little bit of oil, olive oil. And those are big size trays, so you can get more in them. Yeah, I would say go for smaller trays if you were doing it at home, so that you had an individual sort of pancake okay. sort of size. And um, herbs as well work great, frozen in a bit of oil. So all of this stuff, you can literally just move from your fridge and think about it, put some of it in your freezer for another time. Very good. Um, Making things like this work um, longer, get them out of cans. If you've used half a can, you know, and we're do it, it's too easy to put the can back and not sort of decant it. Always decant it, it'll last longer if it's in a tub. And sealed. And sealed. That's the reason, yeah. And sealed. And if you've got something like cottage cheese or anything like that, get it in a tub, turn it upside down, the seal will stay better, and label it, it'll last way longer. If you leave so it clever. like that, it's going off. Just to get the air in it, you turn it upside yeah, down. Yeah, turn it upside down. down. Make sure you put everything in bags if you've got things open. Eggs. People put eggs in the door of their fridge. Your eggs either last in your kitchen or they last... Um, it, sorry, on the counter or in your fridge. The door, they don't like the temperature, that change in temperature as you open oh, right. and close the door. So, so they're fine on the side? Fine on you the side in the or in the fridge. In they can go in both, but not in the door. They don't like a change in temperature. Oh. That's what makes them not to last, Do basically. I have a feeling everything's against us, the fact that's designed <laughs> to go in the door. I know, well, they make it with I know. for the door, so I you know. think, oh, put my eggs in the door. But no, you should keep them in the normal bit of the fridge. Okay. I'm just trying to think, where do I put my eggs now? Like, where do you put them? I let, I've got them in a bowl sort of next to my hob bit. I'm going to do that. Which they probably don't yeah. like and either. Sort of cool, no, it needs to be in a cool bit. Yeah. Now, bread, it's something that we all throw out. As a nation, we throw out a lot of bread. When they come in, they're in these little packets like this with all the holes in. That's because it's freshly baked and they need the moisture to leave. Yeah. But that also means all that air is coming back. These were bought this morning. They're still hard. Get yourself um, some bags. Zip them into bags. If you want to make that airtight, if I lift that up, you just... And then... You literally make it airtight and, and it that will last up. for a week. Those really? It will only week? last for a day in this. The same with any pastries as well. It will last much so longer. Good. So there's nothing that you have to spend. It just works really well. Potatoes and onions need to be separate. If you put them together, they make each other go off. Well, I they didn't know that. Different Mine glasses. are in the same thing. Am yeah, I? and never in the fridge. Always just in. <laughs> I, know. I, I know. I've got to go Never over and rearrange it. So oh, yeah, basically, they, um, they, they create moisture. These really make lots of other things go off. So a bit of kitchen roll is your best thing and put them in a sort of bag or something like that. The <gasps> same with your garlic out of your fridge. And then if you do have stuff that's going off, make sure um, that if it's going a bit soft, revive it in some water. That's your top tip. A tiny bit of bicarbonate of soda into the water and they will go crunchy again, even if they've really? been limp well, you and don't soft. Have to, you don't yeah. have to peel it or anything, it's just cut into little batons. Uh, very basically. quickly, your herbs, just cut them, add them to a jam jar and if you want them to really last, put a bag over the top and they will last and keep growing and growing and growing. An avocado, add some lemon juice and leave the stone in and it won't go brown and it'll last for ages. You have that's literally... my top tip. That was You've so changed my life. <laughs> it's tough. Uh, that's my afternoon. I'm going to go home yeah. and rearrange the entire fridge. Me too. Thank you, Suzanne. That <laughs> Thank was, you. Yeah, you've that totally really changed great. my life. Thank you for that. Thank now, you. here's time.